We moved from Florida to Wisconsin almost a year ago now, and I thought it would be fun to share um, some of the pros and cons um, of living in Wisconsin versus living in Florida, and I thought it would be fun to share a little bit about how the move went, even though it was a full year ago now. I was going to do a video about tips for moving across the country with four young children, but Honestly, I feel like we barely survived the move, and so I don't feel qualified to give tips. Um, it just, moving's really hard, even if you don't have any kids. And then add teeny tiny kids to the mix. We had a new baby last summer. It was a pandemic. Um, honestly, it was just <laughs> survival mode, really it was. Um, and I thought we were really organized. I thought we were really on top of it. And then the week of the move came, and it was all hands on deck like emergency situation we're not even close to done and we were renting so it was like trying to get our place perfectly clean so we got our security deposit back which we did woo um but yeah that i'm just glad it's over and now looking back on it like a year later i'm just i'm so happy with where we are i feel like we're pretty settled in so yeah i just thought it would be fun to share some um pros and cons of wisconsin versus florida living what we love about living here what we miss about living in florida um and all that fun stuff so let's jump in It all started the spring of 2020, March, in fact. Um, I had a C-section scheduled for our fourth baby on March 3rd, and like two days before that, my husband got a job offer to move to Wisconsin. And that was really intriguing to us because both of our families live in Wisconsin, and we had gone basically our whole adult life and our whole life as parents without having the support of grandparents or family around. Um, and that was really difficult to not really have a support system. So. Um, that and among many other reasons, my husband decided to accept the job offer and we moved up to Wisconsin in June. And so my parents came down in June to help us move because we had a three month old baby and three other little kids and we were going to drive the moving truck and our van up to Wisconsin by ourselves um, just to save some money. And so my parents came to help with the drive and to help with the kids and everything. And like long story short, it was super chaotic. <laughs> um, I may have cried a few times, but I was still postpartum. So I'm gonna call that hormones. <laughs> Go ahead. What are we doing today, guys? It's moving day. What are you guys doing? I like your table. Oh, that's okay, bud. Um, so it was pretty tough, but the drive itself went very smoothly. Um, we stopped at Rock City in Chattanooga, Tennessee on our way up, and that was really fun and really memorable. But the drive to get up to Rock City is very hilly and narrow roads, and my dad and my husband could not get the moving truck up there, so we decided my mom and I decided to just go with the kids and they got a head start with the moving truck. Well, the moving truck's getting a little close. Teddy, what you working on there? Uh, this. Is it a sticker puzzle? Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, day one of our move. Da, 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 we're da. so close to Chattanooga, but we had to stop because the kids were melting down. So what are we getting, Pip? Panera! What about you, Birdie? Are you so sad? Are you happy now that we stopped and you're out of your car seat? I need to order Milky. <laughs> Milk's on the menu. Yeah! <laughs> 
Okay, we're going through Fat Man Squeeze. How we doing back there, Teddy? Good. You're doing good? Not really. <laughs> Not really, honey. You're doing great. Aww. Um, so yeah, in two days we made the drive up with our minivan and the moving truck back up to Wisconsin. Stayed with my parents for a night and then got everything moved into our new home. And wow, it was it was just a really stressful week, I'll just say that. But um, overall it went really well and the kids did amazing and they transitioned so well into life in Wisconsin. And I think that's due to our family being around. So I grew up in Wisconsin, so I basically knew what to expect when we moved here, but I'm still gonna share a few things that we had to really adjust to once we moved. The first thing is that we had to invest in a whole new wardrobe for every member of our family. In Florida, there's basically one season, it's warm year round, and you might have two weeks of winter. Whereas in Wisconsin, you have four distinct seasons, not to mention the kids are growing throughout those seasons, so clothes don't always keep from fall to let's say spring when it's cool but not cold so had to invest in new wardrobes winter coats boots um, and snow pants okay along those same lines is number two how long winter lasts in Wisconsin and I was prepared for January February like it's still cold then even March uh, and I knew this was coming but spring doesn't really exist in Wisconsin and it's really frustrating when it's you know mid-May and the weather's still in the 50s and cold, like you still need a winter jacket on. That is really frustrating. You're just ready for warmth and shorts and the like, cute sundresses and skirts, but it's not happening in Wisconsin. Oh no, no. Okay, this one might be unique to me, but I had to adjust to the fact that number one, I had to wear closed toed shoes almost year round. And then number two, that you have to own so many different types of shoes. In a colder climate like in florida i wore the same pair of sandals every day year round here it's like you need nice boots you need snow boots you need tennis shoes you need cute tennis shoes Ugh, it's a whole thing and i hate wearing shoes so that was an adjustment for me or maybe more of the negative things that we had to adjust to moving to wisconsin but okay now i want to share the things that we love that we have just really enjoyed ever since moving to wisconsin number one Midwest summers. They're the best. I can't even begin to explain to you. After living in Florida, which is basically a swamp, what it feels like to come to Wisconsin in summer. It's just, the evenings are cool and you can wear a long sleeve shirt with shorts. You can have campfires at night. You can sit in the grass. If you've ever lived somewhere like Florida, where the grass is like spiky and there's fire ants and other pests in the grass, you can sit in the soft, beautiful grass in Wisconsin, and it's it's amazing. Oh, there's nothing like a Wisconsin summer. The second thing we love about living in Wisconsin is our favorite foods and beverages. Um, Culver's are everywhere. Quick Trip, it's a gas station, but like, if you've ever tasted the food inside of a Quick Trip, it's the best gas station food that there is. Number three, Bears Brothers Coffee based out of Watertown, Wisconsin, but you can get Bears Brothers coffee at a lot of different grocery stores throughout Wisconsin. If you've never tried it, you must try the Highlander Grog. Um, my other favorite is the Sea Salt Caramel, and you can order these online too. It's just a little bit more expensive. So if you're not in Wisconsin, definitely try some Bears Brothers coffee. Oh, and how could I forget? Cheese is so much cheaper here. Cheese is so cheap in Wisconsin. I love cheese. Oh, and the other day I was at one of our local grocery stores and I found Jolly Good Soda, Wisconsin brand. It's so, so good. And I, I don't even drink soda. I haven't been a soda drinker since I was like 12, but I'll have a, a can of Jolly Good Soda. It's amazing. Wisconsinites are just so friendly. People in the Midwest are so friendly and everyone smiles at you and they're so welcoming. So come on down to Wisconsin. We're some friendly folk. And then I would say last of all, living near our families has been so incredible. Um, to have a support system, to have someone who can come babysit our kids for free, to be able to go hang out with our families at a moment's notice, something we've never been able to do before. And let's just say we really, really appreciate it since we've gone so long without it. Okay, so what do I miss about living in Florida? I mean, I would think that's fairly obvious, 
Um, I miss the winter weather when it's 70 and sunny, just on a random February day. That's the best. I miss the beaches. I just, I've always been a beach person. Our kids grew up going to the beach. Um, so I miss having that option. Not that we have like beautiful lake beaches here, but it's just not, it's not quite the same. Come on. Um, I also miss that I got my start as a travel writer in Florida and I really got to know a lot of the tourist destinations around the state and I miss I miss that. I miss being able to road trip to Miami or head over to the Gulf Coast or just see all the different cool destinations in Florida and actually there's two destinations we never really got to visit in Florida. We had a huge bucket list. We got to check almost everything off while we lived there um, except the Everglades. Everglades National Park and then Biscayne National Park. We got to Dry Tortuga so there's three national parks in Florida. We got to one of them so I'd love to go back and visit the two that we didn't get to. But yeah it was just really cool like so many cities within driving distance are tourist destinations in Florida and so that was really what allowed me to get my start as a travel writer which was really cool and in the Midwest you just have to drive a lot further to get um, to different types of tourist destinations so oh I gotta say I didn't expect this when we first moved to Florida but I miss Disney I didn't know I was gonna become a Disney person but what ended up happening was we um when I ended up working as a travel writer I got to attend a lot of media events at Disney, I got to see a lot of the behind the scenes and really just got to understand how well run this company is and how passionate the people at Disney are about their work. And we used, we took advantage of the Florida resident discounts there and took our kids quite a few times and man, there's just a certain magic there. And as much as I stand for like seeing different places around the world like every vacation doesn't have to be to Disney like there really is something special about it especially when you have kids another thing I'll miss about Florida is seeing dolphins I just you guys I love dolphins they're so cool and friendly and fun and smart I miss the diversity um, we always think of Florida as just beaches but there are beaches there are islands there are springs people don't know about the springs where you can see manatees in winter um, there's big cities like Miami where you can get a cafe cubano see all kinds of different cultures so there's just a lot of diversity in Florida that I miss so there you have it we moved from Florida to Wisconsin there were a lot of ups and downs throughout this last year but overall I would say I feel at home here in the Midwest simply because it's where I grew up and I'll always miss Florida. I'll always miss the friendships we made while we were there and the people um, and just the lifestyle there. It's just a different lifestyle. Um, but I'll always feel like I have people to go back and visit. So it always will feel like a second home to me. But I'm happy to be back in the Midwest. We truly do love Wisconsin and I'm having fun exploring all around the Midwest. Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan. And we've got some fun road trips planned for this summer. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something useful or interesting in this video. You can check out more family travel content on my channel, and right now we're working on exploring throughout the Midwest. You can also find me on Instagram at amomexplores. That's where I'm most active. I really look forward to connecting with you there, and until then, keep exploring.